There's a whole lot of talk about truth in our culture today. We're told by many people that truth does not exist, that all truth is relative to each person. There are no absolutes when it comes to truth. So that brings up many questions. Is there really truth? Is truth really just relative to each person? Uh, can I discover and know truth for myself? And if so, what is truth? And so that last question of what is truth, I think, is the greatest question that anybody can ask in their life. So let's talk about it. Truth is this, is that which corresponds with reality. It's really that which corresponds with its object. It's describing an actual state of affairs. One writer put it this way, it's just telling it like it is. So we need to understand that there are two different claims to truth. The first one is subjective truth. The second one is objective truth. So as we think about subjective truth, it deals with truth claims about the subject or the person making the claim. Essentially, these are just matters of preference or taste about the properties or how we're describing what we're talking about. So an example of a subjective truth for me is this. Simply Natural ice cream is the best ice cream on earth. No questions asked. And out of the variety of flavors that they offer, Fudge Ripple is the best. Now, while that may be true for me, it may not be true for you. You may say, look, I'm sorry, Hershey's ice cream is the best and Moose Tracks is their best flavor. Somebody else may say, look, I'm sorry, you're both wrong, but uh, Briar's ice cream is the best and vanilla is their best flavor. You see, these truths can be true for each of us, but they're not true for all of us at the same time, at the same place. They're not an objective truth and that's the difference between the two. So an objective truth attempts to accurately name or describe the properties of of an object. And these can be tested to see if they are true or false. So an example of an objective truth is this. The boiling point of water is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States of America. The earth has one moon. Now, each of these can be tested and proven as either fact or false. And that is the essence of an objective truth. And so we must understand the difference and be able to discern what type of truth claim is being given. Because many times people will try to make a subjective truth fact like it's an objective truth. So truth, as we consider it, by definition, it is absolute and therefore narrow and exclusive. You see, all truths exclude their opposite. There can be many claims to truth, but only one can be true. You can't have many variations of a truth. And so this is why all religions cannot be true. They all make objective truth claims that are different. So either one is true or all are false. And so since truth is absolute, there must be a source of truth. So where does truth come from? Jesus Christ said this in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He would continue on and say this, speaking of God, thy word, sanctify them by thy word, thy word is truth. So we understand the source of truth is God. And Jesus is the embodiment of that truth. And since God is unchanging, truth is unchanging. Therefore, truth can be discovered. So this truth claim can be tested and proven that God is the source of truth. How? Through the evidence that you and I see of God's existence, to the evidence you and I see and have to the accuracy of His Word. Now, if someone comes to you with makes this statement, there is no truth, ask them this, is that true? How do you know that's true if, there are no, if there's no absolute truth? You see, they're making an absolute truth claim that there is no truth. And so that statement defeats itself. You're turning their logic upside down. So on next week's episode, we're going to look at truth being relative to each person.